So we have a domain question here. There's two domain rules, at least two that we're starting with. Don't take a square root or an even root of a negative, and don't divide by zero. No division here, so we're only worried about we have a square root. I have to make sure that what I underlined is zero or more. So let's go ahead and pull this down here. So I'm just gonna rewrite with an inequality like this. Okay, so these are good x values. I am ensuring that my square root is gonna be zero or more. So that's the inequality I wrote. Now we're gonna solve for x. x has, again, two friends. So who goes first? We're gonna get rid of the plus 20 first. How do we un-add 20, you subtract 20. So we're subtracting 20. Now adding, subtracting never flips your inequality, even when you're um, adding a negative or subtracting. So we got negative 20 less than or equal to negative 3x. x has one friend now. So I have to unmultiply by negative three. So that's either multiply by negative one third or divide by negative three. When you multiply or divide by a negative, you're gonna flip your inequality sign. So this inequality is gonna take become this mirror image. And now we're gonna multiply both sides here. So we have on the left, 20 over three, the two negatives cancel. On the right, negative three divided by negative three cancels. We just have x. All right. I like to have the little uh, quantity on the left. So I'm going to take a mirror image. And that gives me x is less than or equal to 20 thirds. So I've swapped everything, swapped the quantities and the inequality turned backwards as well. All right. Usually you're gonna to wanna to answer an interval notation. So if I draw out, here's 20 thirds. And when the little is on the left, it's okay to be equal. So we'll be square bracket here. There is no minimum value. So it goes all the way to negative infinity. In interval notation, it will be negative infinity comma 20 thirds. Closed at 20 thirds, cause again, you're allowed to equal. And it's always gonna be open at the infinities. So that will be your answer for this question here.